Hey guys, sorry, I just moved my camera. Oop, going weird. All right, hey guys, welcome to Comic Uno, and today I am doing, I'm sorry for the shaky camera, I am doing um, my Q&A for the month. Now, I heard you guys in the comments, because I love that you guys leave comments after the Q&A also, that you wanted the Q&A a little earlier this month, um, because last two months I was doing it a bit later, because schedule wise may and june were crazy um so i decided for july to what is today's uh ninth so definitely earlier in the month this uh this month hopefully guys enjoy i, I enjoyed i also did it because um san diego san diego comic con is coming really soon i'm planning for that uh because i'm going to be doing press for san diego um so i'm like just getting ready for that uh convention uh, so that's kind of why I did it early, too. And then once it comes, you know, I'm going to be exhausted after, and it's like the 20th to 24th. So I thought this was actually a really good time to do a Q&A anyways. So I see that we got a couple of viewers here. Um, sorry I was like a little bit late. Um, I actually set it up like 7.55-ish, but then I wanted to like wait until you guys got set up also. So I waited a little longer. It was like, you know, six minutes late. That's, I'm always very punctual. So that's why I'm like late. It's not really that late. Um, yeah, so um, I'm seeing that we have uh, some comments coming. So definitely keep, keep it up with the comments. And uh, I'll start with that. Uh, but yeah, you know, let's talk about San Diego Comic Con. What would you like to see from me? Um, I just did the Heroes and Villains Fan Fest Comic Con. Like uh, last week, my voice is still hoarse because um, I lo I lost my voice a couple of days before the con, and then I kept using it. Uh, I'm like ninety percent better. You might hear it like crack once or twice or more than that, but you can hear it crack now. But it's definitely not as bad as it was. Um, but I actually just posted a Katie Cassidy review. I mean interview on uh, DC TV podcast. Uh, so be sure to check that out um, and share it. it it was a an interesting interview really enjoyed it um and then we have echo cullum who plays curtis on arrow coming up really soon for that youtube channel also so check that out uh what else do i got coming up i got a lot well you know we could talk about all that stuff um you know comic book reviews you know as you can see i've been trying to get some stuff on wednesday if like i'm not as busy on wednesday i try um, to get that up early, been trying, you know, it won't be, I can't promise I'll do that every week, but, you know, maybe bring up, like, or post one or two reviews, and then the rest on Friday, uh, maybe scatter them a bit, um, helps on my voice when I review them, but also, like, just to get some reviews up early, especially with DC Rebirth and everything, um, I'm gonna be trying to do that, you know, when, when I can, and we could talk all about that, but yeah, Q&A, Comics, movies, TV, whatever. Pokemon Go. Yes, I am playing. Um, I'm playing. I just started like more like yesterday, today. Um, I just got to level five. I don't know if you can fight wild Pokemon. I don't think so. I'm not part of a gym yet. I've just been catching Pokemon. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's going on with the comments. I did see a few. Yeah, and there's a lot more here. Um, okay. So Green Arrow says, I think they'll just screen Suicide Squad early uh, at Comic-Con. They already blew their load with three different trailers, so if they give us another one, they risk spoiling the movie. Yeah, I know. I don't think they will show Suicide Squad. I don't, I don't even know if, I haven't even checked if Warner Brothers is having a panel. I'm sure they will, but um, I don't know, because I, I haven't checked the Saturday schedule yet. Um, I know DCTV will be heavy there. I'm going to try to go to that panel. I'm going to try getting some interviews for DCTV. We'll We'll find out, you know, with the interview, sometimes it's, it, you don't find out until like the weekend before you go, um, just because of scheduling stuff. So I don't really have any confirmations right now. It's, I, everyone's just kind of up in the air trying to schedule stuff. Um, so we'll see where that goes. And yeah, I try to go to as many panels as possible, but of course the interviews, um, sometimes it goes first before the panels because a lot of times the information that come out of the panels go on the internet anyways. So it's, you know, uh, in trailers or, um, you know, information like news break. I could always do a video on that when I get to the, you know, back to the hotel. Um, all right, let's uh, go more to questions here. 
Green Arrow, what do you think they should do in regards to Suicide Squad? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's actually a really good question. Maybe it'd be cool like to see the first 10 minutes or some of another movie. I think that'd be cool to get people pumped. Uh, I say do that. If they're going to promote Suicide Squad, like just stop with the trailers because like you said, they've already shown everything. Show us like the first 10 minutes. And I feel like movies never really do that. So I would do that. If I was, if I was ahead of DC or Warner Brothers, that's what I would bring. Sydney Apu, um, nice to see you in the comments. I haven't seen your name. Um, hi, I'm new. Uh, um, hi, I'm new. Way are your what? I guess what are your predictions for Civil War Two? Um, I don't know, honestly. It's it's been so far pretty good. I, I've liked it, um, which is good because I haven't really liked the Marvel event in a while. Uh, so I'm really enjoying what they're giving us. Hopefully, it won't be like feel prolonged. Um, but I think. Jen, I, she's either in a coma that we don't know her, we don't know her status yet. I, I, maybe someone else will become Shield because of it. Well, what we know about the new Iron Man news, uh, Iron Man, I guess, is going to step down. Uh, so that's going to be a big news, uh, probably because of whatever happens in this event. Uh, so whatever happens, it's going to change, hopefully, the status quo for a little while because that's what I want to see with the event. <clears throat> All right, next is Stormfan. What YouTube channel will you have? The podcast with Katie Cassie. I missed it because you just logged into YouTube. Um, it's not. Um, it's on a podcast channel. It's on DC TV podcast YouTube channel. It's a short um, interview. It's like two to three minutes. Uh, you can check it out there. And if you just type in DC TV podcast, you'll get it. Um, it's also on my Twitter and Facebook. If you, you know you want to check it out there. <clears throat> See, I'm still like my voice is not a hundred percent. All right. Harold Bean, excited for the He-Man meets Thundercats. Uh, not really, because I don't like either franchise, so I probably won't pick that up. Nathan, with all the post-Civil War II announcements coming from Marvel, do you think Bruce will become Hulk again? I see that happening in the near future with some, you know, with the events happening now. I could, I could see it. Although I feel like they never really know what to do with Bruce. Timothy Joshua, so how many Pokemon do you have? Let's see. I will check. I think it's like 30-something, honestly. If I can check, because sometimes... Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. All done. Pokemon. I have 31 Pokemon. A lot of repeats, though, so I'm going to have to, like, trade some of them in. I have a lot of Ratatatas. That's what the ones that are popping out. I, I heard for some people, they get a lot of Zubats. I don't, I don't have one Zubat. <laughs> A lot of ratatas. Uh, let me know if you guys are playing the game. Harold Bean, will Suicide Squad have post credit scene? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Shore sure, L Normal TV Nerd. I'm trying to read and review the new DC and Marvel stuff, but something fall behind my question is how can I keep track of the issue releases? Um, you know, go to Comixology pull list um, every week or yeah you could just go to the week it's released and they'll they have it down like next week this week and uh, you can check out all the releases that come out um also um previews has the same thing they could check it out i personally use comiXology pull list most of the time it's correct um even if you look into the future maybe there's some that are delayed uh also what i do i go to the midtown comics to like double check everything that's coming out like that week, I'll do that. I say, all right, this is coming out, this is coming out. They have a really good list, so that's what I usually do. I know, it gets a little difficult to kind of find everything. <clears throat> Green Arrow, what do you think of all the casting news for Spider-Man Homecoming? So you think they'll finally announce who everyone's playing? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of the actors, so there are a lot of, like, fresh faces, and I'm not really saying, oh, this is going to be Mary Jane, this is going to be Gwen. Um, I'm just kind of waiting and see, seeing who they'll play. I think once we know who's going to play who, that'll be, like, the big announcement. I'm just kind of, like, cool, homecoming as another news story. A lot of uh, Suicide Squad questions. Uh, Storm fan, can't wait for Katana in Suicide Squad. Who are you hyped for in Suicide Squad? Uh, probably Harley Quinn, uh, like, just because I don't know if she's gonna be the Harley we know, if she's not, like, Harley Quinn, probably, the most. All right. That other review, dude, any movies coming out this weekend they're interested in seeing? Um, the most recent movie I saw was, um, 
The Shallows, and I thought that was a solid movie. It's like my type of movie. I really like uh, survival type movies like that or like more inner strength character-driven stories, and I think Blake Lively did a good job. Um, I liked it for the most part. I thought it was like a nice matinee movie. Um, I wasn't really interested in that pet movie or that Zac Efron comedy coming out. Um, I might see Ghostbusters next week just because that's like a big movie, and I, I, I didn't like the original, but I want to try it. Uh, there's not a lot of movies coming out this summer I want to see, so besides Suicide Squad. So I thought maybe I'll go see Ghostbusters. Star Trek, I don't know if I'll be able, you know, be able to see. It's coming out Comic-Con weekend, and I don't really know a lot of people want to see it, and I'm not, like, a huge Star Trek fan. Uh, but, yeah, maybe Ghostbusters, and I might do a review. Let me know if you want me to see Ghostbusters. All right, Nathan Banks, what would you like to see Young Avengers and West Coast Avengers to come back in some form? Young Avengers, yes. I, I think, no, they, the Great Lakes Avengers, they just announced. Um... West Coast Avengers, maybe. Uh, depends who's on it, but definitely Young Avengers. Everyone's saying hello. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Timothy Joshua. Um, do you read and enjoy any comics outside of DC and Marvel? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I try a lot of indie titles. As an indie creator myself, I like trying the really indie stuff. But also, you know, Image, IDW. There's, like, mostly every week I will at least buy something that's not DC or Marvel. Um, Image is doing a lot of great stuff, so totally, I totally read stuff other than DC and Marvel. <clears throat> Might be clearing my throat a little bit. All right, let's see. Kyle Johnson, how you been enjoying the new Superman books? Um, I haven't been enjoying them as much as my frontline um, friends. They've been really enjoying them. I've been liking them. Action comics I haven't fully gotten into. Uh, you know, I'm reading it. I, it's just not my thing yet because it's more action heavy than character heavy. Superman, I like the story. Not so much a fan of the artwork. Um, and I think those are all the Superman books right now. I'm really excited for new Superman to come out um, this coming week. I'm excited about that premise. Really, really excited for Superwoman to come out and Supergirl when that does come out. So you'll see. I've got some water on my mouse pad, so that's not good. Okay. Um, it was like condensation more. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Tron. Sailor Moon shirt, so I take your fan. Yeah, I am. I am. Um, I'm a Sailor Moon fan. I haven't, like, watched Crystal. I haven't seen, you know, the older Sailor Moon in a couple of years, but I am a fan. Jaden Whedon, do you watch Transformers Prime? I do not. Harold Bean, CW will show all the Supergirl season one prior to the new one for those that haven't seen it. Oh, okay. Something I was already taking, uh, talk, taking about, talking about. Tevia asks, question, Kat, I'm just wondering, what is your opinion on new Superman books? Because in my opinion, like, oh, actually that's, yeah, I already talked about them. So he looks, he's very happy with it. Yeah, something I was just talking about. I thought you were going to talk about the other Superman book. Other review, dude, I myself go to comics lists when I want to see far in the future. Tevia, Kat, did you see the BFG? Because I saw that movie and it was good. Um, it, I, as much as it's a Disney movie, um, I it, it didn't really interest me from the trailer, so I'm going to probably skip that one. All right. Ooh. Oh, too much condensation. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. Tavia says, please don't see Ghostbusters. It's not worth it. How do you know? We have to see the movie before we know if it's not worth it. Sure, L. Normal. Is there hope that Arrow will be good like the first two seasons? Um, I hope so. I mean, I liked so, uh, the other seasons for some aspects. Tevye asks if there's hope for the X-Men to stop being screwed in the comics. Um, I don't know if they're being screwed. I just don't really like the direction they've been going. Tevye, Kat, do you think Valiant's far better than Marvel? Um, I don't read any Valiant comics, so I can't really answer that. It's not really my thing. Harold Bean, Web Warrior is going away after issue 11. That opens possibilities for a new Mayday book. Uh, I, I wish, I wish. I mean... 
you never know with the whole Marvel Now thing coming up, but I never get my hopes up <laughs> unless I, I see a news piece for it. Tyler Jordan asks, how am I doing? I'm doing well. Green Arrow, this is a little off topic, but I love to collaborate with you. Um, Green Arrow, uh, just PM me. Let me know what type of collaboration you want to do or tweet me. <clears throat> the other review, dude, is there any word on what happened to Super Sons? I, I, I think it's still coming out. I just don't think it has a release date. Um, Tevia seems like the same question that um, Harold Bean just asked about Spider-Girl. Um, and it looks like he says, also, do I think over Spider-Gwen that Spider-Girl Spider -Girl will get a book? Um, definitely not. I think Spider-Gwen will have her book because she's been very popular as much as I would like a May book. Tyler Dern says, not to be a smartass, but it's called Action Comics. What did I say? I think I said Action Comics. If I didn't, sorry. Um... Omitron, if the CW were to get permission to make a show about one of the characters they have been denied access to, who would you want to see them do? Barbara Gordon, definitely. Cindy Apu, do you want Mary Jane and Peter Parker to get back together? 100%. Shanti B, hey Kat, how was it meeting Willa Holland? Were you nervous? Um, I was definitely a little nervous, but I, you know, it was a great experience because she is one of my favorite actresses and he is like my favorite TV character on right now and one, one of my favorites in general. Uh, Tevi asks question, Kat, do you think Marvel's doing way too many changes to their characters? Uh, some aspects I think they are. Tyler Jordan tells me that Animaniacs is on Netflix. Jaden, do you think there's a chance for Miles Morales may show up in the new Spider-Man movie? I don't know if it's going to be Homecoming. I think he might be the main for that animated Spider-Man movie, which I love to see. Tyler Durden next was the cra craziest comic you've ever read. I mean, I feel like there's one once a year uh, you have one crazy one. I remember, I Spider-Man Marvel Knights, the recently recent one was kind of crazy for me. It was weird, um, and then the discipline from Image was really crazy that I did not like. Uh, so those are some crazy ones I read. The Omnitron, do you think with the news about the scrolls being in Guardian Guardians of the Galaxy 2, with Marvel having Namor back with Fox and Marvel apparently in talks, do you think the FF are back? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. You never know. I mean, it did tank really badly. Uh, Tevia... Kat, I was just wondering if we could do a collaboration video. Um, yeah, Tevia, just let me know what type of collaboration video, um, and we could see if we could do one. I know you said about DC Rebirth. Yeah, so just message me. Kyle Johnson, what are your thoughts on the new Iron Man? Because I think it's awesome. Um, so this is something we're going to talk a little bit about on Frontline Line, but I guess I could talk a little bit about because I haven't really given my opinion on the new Iron Man. Um, I think it's cool that we're getting a new Iron Man, especially, you know, adding more diversity to the comic. I think my only hope that Marvel is not doing is just doing this for sales and doing it just for because everyone's excited for diversity and not really having a story behind it. Because uh, I've seen the character in the comics. I don't really know much about her character. I hope they give her more development and become a more interesting character. But if it does well, um, you know, I'm excited. I'll definitely try it. And I... If this is diversity for diversity's sake, I'm really excited. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. If it's just diversity for diversity's sake um, and just for money, then I'm not as excited. But this is that for diversity for a reason, to actually have diversity, then I'm excited for it. Um, so I, I have to read the first issue to see um, what they're going to do with it. Sydney, did you notice in something's weird with Mary Jane in the new Spider-Man comics? Yeah, it looks like they're remembering a bit more about the region stuff, so they're teasing one more day a bit. Um, <clears throat> Christian Morales, how should DC Comics end their movie universe so it doesn't drag on long? I, they haven't even started their DC universe, so I can't tell you how they're going to end it. 
they haven't really started, in my opinion. Tevia, what is your opinion on Dr. Doom being the new Iron Man? I think it's weird, honestly. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it. But again, that's another thing. I, I have to read it. Maybe it'll be awesome. I, I think it's the same artist that's on Iron Man now, which I don't really like. But, uh, yeah, I have to see it. It's, I think that that one it didn't come out in left field as much because um, – because Dr. Doom's been in the series. Well, I would say both news announcements didn't come out of left field because they've both been in the series. Uh, so we'll see. Again, I'll give it a try. Um, and we'll see what happens. I will judge the book then. The other, uh, other review, dude. Do you think with the inclusion of Constantine on CWC, do you, there's more chances to have Constantine on CW? Um, I don't know because uh, the CWC really adds all their old CW shows or just Warner Brothers shows like uh, I think Birds of Prey is still on there. Um, they add a lot. I think the OC is on there, but not – yeah, the OC I think was one of them. Me, not the OC. I feel like – yeah, it was the OC. Um, so doesn't mean those shows are coming back. So I, I personally think they just added it kind of for like their own Netflix type thing. <clears throat> Harold Bean, do you think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will show more heroes and villains from the comics? Um, I'm actually behind on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. still, so I, I can't tell you. Still like a whole half a season behind. Tyler Jordan, Marvel Knights Spider-Man. Wasn't that written by Mark Millar? That was the first one. There was another one that came out a couple of, like a year ago, I would say. Um... JDD asks, will you be at New York Comic Con? Yes, I will. I'm going to actually be going for press there. So I've been going to New York Comic Con since, uh, since the beginning. So I'm very excited about it. And it's cool how it's grown. Um, Jeff Caesar, do I have a Facebook? I have a Facebook like page. Go check that out. Um, and that is Comic Uno Reviews. Also, I have a fake Facebook page for like Follow Like Daughter for my comic book and Media Madness. So you go check that out. Shante, hey, Kat, did you ask Willa if they are making any changes to Thea's character or maybe a new suit? I did ask what was coming up for Thea. It didn't seem like she could say too much, though. She just said it will be a different show for season five. What do you think about Civil War II so far? Um, I'm liking it so far. Tevia. Do you think the Fantastic Four is ever going to come back? Um, I'm sure one day they'll come back, just not now because they didn't really have any ideas for them and the sales weren't doing great. Omnitron, I just hope the new Iron Man has a secret identity because if not, it makes less sense that Jane Foster is going by the name Thor. Yeah, I would hope that she has a secret identity also. That'd be, it'll be fun too because something we haven't seen with Iron Man in a while. Sure, El Normal TV Nerd. Does anyone else think Batman Rebirth was underwhelming? I do, actually. I have, I've been, I thought that the Batman series in general has been kind of slow. Tyler Jordan, what have you heard about Millar's new kick-ass? Uh, nothing much, but I'm definitely going to read it. Other review, dude. Diversity for diversity's sake. I'm excited. What? No, I, that was me saying I'm tired. Uh, that was me misquoting myself. Um, no, diversity for diversity's sake is not a good thing. Uh, Jade and Whedon, do you watch Steven Universe? The show is really good, including story and character interaction. I've heard great things. I, I'll have to catch up with that one. Never seen it, though. Fernal Lore, the new Iron Man is Rhodey's niece, and she has the reverse-engineered suit. I don't think it is. I think it's the character that we all thought was Rhodey's niece, but it's not. I don't think she's related to Rhodey. I might be wrong, but... Question, Kat, if they remember some aspects of Stupid Region, then why don't they remember anything? Well, we have to see where they go with that story. They might be teasing for some changes. Tyler Jordan, I heard, heard about Deadpool kills the Mar Marvel Universe. What if uh, we got Deadpool rights to Marvel Universe? That would be an interesting miniseries. The Omnitron, thoughts on the new Luke Cage comic coming with him set in the 70s? Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. I know a lot of people are excited about it. Harold Bean, I've had enough of Doom. I'd rather see an old new Scourge or Beyonder, that old DC, 
uh, Doc Doom again. The other review dude, see you later, cat. I got to go back to work flying this plane. Oh, do you actually fly a plane? It's awesome. Tevia, I highly doubt we will ever going to get that. I don't know in regards what that was for. Tyler Jordan, do you ever watch Billy and Mandy? Um, yeah, as a kid, I've seen the show. Listen, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but I have seen it. Brandon Steven, are you reading Silver Surfer? It's a great read. I love it. It's one of my favorite Marvel series right now. Shanti. What other DC characters would you like to see in the DC TV universe? I think it's possible for Zatanna and Constantine to team up. It'd be cool to see Zatanna. Um, I want to see Stephanie Brown and, and Barbara Gordon. Omnitron. With news of Wisdom, uh, Wildstorm's uh, Reborn coming, do you think the new 52 Superman will end up being revealed to be Mr. Majestic? I don't know. I don't think so. Sydney, what? You know, oh, whoa, okay, hold on. I go back up. Okay, Sydney, what's your opinion of Squirrel Girl? She's a bit annoying. I, I don't read her comics. I think she's a bit overrated. But you know, everyone has their taste. I'm glad that people have found her if they got into comics that way. Firewolf Jordan Ramsey, Comic Uno. You ever think about Martian Manhunter getting his own movie or TV show? Um, I think Martian Manhunter is doing a good job on Supergirl. I don't think he needs his own movie or TV show. Maybe his own movie more than his own TV show. Okay. Uh, Tevia, uh, question, Kat. His dad has been bothering me for a long time. Why does Dan Slott write Silver Surfer great, but his Spider-Man stuff is garbage? I mean, I think that's personal preference. Um, I, I, Well, I will say I really like his Silver Surfer stuff. I think it's always really good. Um, and I guess because that's more of a fresher character. He's been writing Spider-Man for a long time. But I also like some of his Spider-Man stuff, too. So, again, I think that's more personal preference. The Omnitron, am I the only one who thinks that since Doom is going to be Iron Man, Riri should be War Machine? Um, I think we have to see what this whole Iron Man stuff is going to be about. Maybe we'll find out with Civil War II. Jay says, Comic Uno, set sail. Hey, Jay. Tyler Durden, have you ever uh, been Rickrolled? It's funny only a few times, but never going to give up. Never going to let you down. I have been Rickrolled before. If you haven't been Rickrolled, then you're lucky. Um, Jay says Mr. Majestic, uh, Majestic has already been in New 52. I forgot about that. I don't think I read that series. I think it was Secret 7 where that happened. Brandon, I hope we get a rebirth for Static Shock and Animal Man. Yeah, both those characters would be great to get rebirth titles. I really liked Animal Man's uh, New 52 title. Omnitron, I recommend Hellcat, though, to anyone who has wants a life fun comic. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun, like, all-ages book. I have a good time reading it. It's mostly always, like, in the middle of my countdown. Although I really liked the last issue with Jessica Jones. <clears throat> and finally figuring out all that heady stuff. Uh, Tevye asks, I think New 52 Superman's dead. Yes, he is. I think he'll be dead for a while. Jaden, do you think if we're going to get two X-Men Apocalypse, who would be the four horsemen in your opinion? I don't even know. I I'm not sure. The Omnitron. Actually, I heard a rumor of Milestone Rebirths as possible. Of Static, Iron Rocket, uh, Icon Rocket, and everyone else. That'd be cool. All right. Um, Kevia, Kat, do you think Civil War II feels completely unnecessary? Um, I can't say anything until the series is over. But like I said, I like the first issue. Omnitron, except that Mr. Majestic, Majestic wasn't an alien. Uh, and then Jay answers about that. Yeah, so guys, keep up with the questions. Um, it's cool to see uh, 22 people watching. <clears throat> so keep coming with them. DC, Marvel, TV, movie stuff. <clears throat> Alright. So everyone's still asking about <clears throat> Mr. Majestic. Tevia asks, uh, do you feel that Captain Marvel, Billy Batson, 
think his family's getting way underused. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see more from, from the Captain Marvel family. Harold, I heard that Multiversity sequel, but no updates. Have you heard any news? I, ha I didn't really like Multiversity, so I wouldn't, wouldn't care if they had a sequel or not for that one. Jane says Raven needs a rebirth, and so does Beast Boy. I, th I think Raven's going to be in the Teen Titans book. In Beast Boy, so at least they're in something. Uh, Tyler Jordan, have you ever seen Tailspin or Darkwing Duck? I've seen both of them when I was a kid. I haven't seen them in a while, though. Brandon, I just wish Marvel would take a break from rebooting the universe so much. I agree with that. Omitron says Raven is getting her own series. Is she? I don't, I don't remember that. I'll have to look it up. Let me see. Raven Rebirth. Raven DC Rebirth. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, she is maybe. No, I don't know. No, I think she's only in the New Teen Titans book. Yeah, I think she's only in the New Teen Titans book. Okay. Oh, Harold says that there's a new Raven book in September. I either forgot about that or didn't know about that. I looked it up, though, and I didn't see anything. Tevia, um, Kat, now that Doom is the new Iron Man, is Miles Morales the new Spider-Man, do you think a lot of older characters are getting screwed? Well, Thor is getting his own series, so I don't think a lot of older characters are getting screwed. Um, we'll just see where they go. And, I mean, even, like, Steve Rogers, he has his own book. I think they're just giving more opportunities for characters to have their own mantle. Um, again, I think some of them are good decisions, and, and some might just be diversity for diversity's sake. And, and um, hopefully uh, we get to see some really good diversity in Marvel with the upcoming titles. Tyler Jordan, have you read Teen Titans The Judas uh, co uh, Contract? Um, I don't think I've read it fully, actually. I really should. Nathan, do you think the titles like Uncanny Avengers will be reborn into new t titles like the new Avengers becoming U.S. Avengers? I'm sure, which I wouldn't care as much about because I don't read either title, honestly. Stormfan84, Kat, what is your favorite DC anime movie? Um, probably Wonder Woman. And uh, um, Under the Red Hood. Also, I really like All-Star Superman. I mean, the list goes on. Um, I'm really excited for Killing Joke. I mean, trying. Wait, Tony's going to be War Machine? Okay, weird. I, I didn't hear anything about that. I don't, I don't think as confirmed anywhere. Timothy, I don't mind Marvel introducing new characters, but what slightly grind my gears is that they introduced them through old heroes, if that makes sense. No, I know what you're saying. I, I agree. There's some... I would like to have characters, like new characters, have their own name and, and be their own hero and have their own identity. I think it's great. Or even, like, not as much force getting out the old heroes because, like, Iron Man, like, I wish that was a bit more gradual and, like, that it was more of a plan, like, two years ago to do that. Um, like, I think a really good example is how they did Kamala's character. Um, they brought her into it after um, Carol's had been Captain Marvel for a while. Um, so, again, it's kind of confusing because I like the, some of them that they've done and some I feel like it's like, oh, I feel like you just did that for promotion's sake and not character's sake. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard, but I feel like you have to read the comic before judging it and just judging it from the news. You have to see if they did it organically and if it's for story's sake, um, if they're introducing these new characters of, like, Doctor Doom being Iron Man. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, and also another great example I think they did very well was, like, Jane Foster becoming Thor. She's very connected to Thor's mythology and has a really, really interesting story to tell. So, uh, again, with these new titles, I think a lot of people are jumping the gun and saying, I'm not getting that. I think you just have to see where it goes and uh, read the first issue and see if they're um, doing this for story's sake. Let's see. Uh, and Jay says that Raven's getting a miniseries by Marv Wolfman. 
I for I see I that like went off my mind. I didn't know that. Omnitron, also apparently Thor is getting Ultimate Thor's hammer to fill the power gap and also. Um, yeah, I mean, it's great to see that new Thor, or new Thor, um, Odin's son is getting uh, his own title. Sure, L, normal TV. God, comics are so complex. LOL, it's hard for newbies. It is, it does get complex. But hopefully channels like mine or, you know, Comic Frontline or other comic channels help a little bit. And if you have any questions, let me know. I love to help. Ashanti, uh, can we finally get just uh, Young Justice season three? I know Netflix knows we want it. Make it happen. I agree. I would like to see that happen. Oh, man, I lost my spot. Uh, another He Man one. Uh, I don't. I don't know much about Thundercat and He Man, so I won't get that. Tyler Jordan, I think we might be getting a Teen Titans Judas contract movie. I feel like that's been in the works for a while. I, I would hope so. I, I would really like to see a movie for that. Nathan, do you want to see a New Seeker Avengers? I, I didn't really like the original one. Tyler Jordan, who life sucks more, Amazing Spider-Man or Ultimate Spider-Man? Which ones, the Peter Parker or, or Miles? Because I would go with Ultimate Spider-Man sucks more because he died in the end and then came back to life. Um, let's see. Let's see more comments. Ami Sean, anyone else think uh, Miles, Kamal, and Sam being their own semi-team is a reference to Spider-Man Amazing Friends? It might be. Let's see. Shanti, do you think Marvel and DC are afraid of changes when it comes to their teams or promoting new character books ahead of main popular characters? All new, all different Marvel doesn't seem new. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're afraid because you do see them do more new stuff. I think it's it's a hard question. I don't know because I would say, oh, you know, I mean, they've done titles like Squirrel Girl, you know, of all things. So I don't, it's a hard question. Zach, do you think Suicide Squad will surpass 80%? Um, I think it has opportunity to. It looks good. Harold, my new defenders would be a Stinger female scorpion. All right, so he's saying about his defenders. Nathan, would you like to see new characters like Gwenpool or all new Wasps get their own solo books? Well, Gwenpool already has. Oh, like? Well, Gwenpool already has it. I don't think Wasp needs it as of right now. Unless it would be about Janet and the all-new Wasps. I would read that. Tyler Durden. The last Spider-Man films were called The Amazing Spider-Man, yet they were based mostly on Ultimate Universe. That is logic for you. Lego Productions. Killing Joke or Injustice at live-action movie? I'd rather Killing Joke. Tevia, but we are getting the anime movie. Um... Tevia, is Miles Morales getting mistreated in the all-new, all-different Marvel? Because in my opinion, Miles Morales does not fit. I don't think he's getting mistreated because he definitely has a lot of spots. Um, I just think they're getting used to trying to tell his stories in the regular universe. Um, Omnitron likes Miles and not Peter's series. Uh, Zach Lego, Wonder Woman or Black Widow Squirrel Girl in a fight? Um, Wonder Woman would definitely win against Black Widow and Squirrel Girl. All right, keep coming with the questions, guys. Sam, I mean Sam. Um, Nathan, do you think Sam, Jane, and Riri will be oh, will be on the core Avengers title at some point? I think there's a possibility of that. Tevia, I think Miles Morales' new universe doesn't work. Um, so he was talking about Miles Morales and in, in his opinion for that. Tyler Jordan, have you read Mark Millar and Brian Hitch's Ultimates? Um, I've read a few issues of it. I haven't read the complete run. 
Spanish Heat, what do you think Marvel's long-term plans for the X-Men Apocalypse War has been pretty underwhelming? I actually dropped it. I was so underwhelmed with that. I dropped all my X-Men titles besides Wolverine. I just have not liked the direction it's been going, and I haven't been enjoying it. Zach Lego, what actor do you think will fit Hal Jordan the best? I really like um, Robert Buckley from iZombie, I think would be a cool Hal Jordan TV-wise. Nathan Banks, will we see Doctor Strange leading a new team for Marvel after Civil War? I don't know. I don't. I didn't even see him do much in Civil War, but I know his movie's coming out. Omnitron, anyone remember when the rumor of X-Men being another universe, anyone else think that would be work a lot better? I mean, I wouldn't want the X-Men to be in another universe. I just think they need to go back to basics with those characters and make it interesting. And not make it related to the Inhumans. I think they've been focusing too much on the Inhumans because of their movies. Um, Harold Bean, when will you see the new spot for CW Fall episodes? Um, oh, like promos for them? Um, probably new spots. Uh, try to uh, tell me, expand on, upon that question. Let me know what you're trying to say for that. Hold on. Shanti, uh, hold on, let me make sure. Hold on. Okay. Shanti, since Wonder Woman's getting a film and Captain Marvel should be next, what, next, what other uh, female superhero deserves a film? I'd like that X-23 for X-Men. Um, there's so many. Miss Marvel, Kamala, I think would be nice. Those are some on top of my head. Spider-Gwen. Questions. Do you think Peter Parker, Spider-Man, would ever tire a long time? Oh, okay, so it's the same question Tavi was asking before. Omnitron wants the Defenders for a Doctor Strange team. Brandon, if you could write crossover with characters, who would use and what would you bring them together? Um, huh. I feel like all the crossovers we have kind of already been done. No one I'm really thinking of now. Tavia does not like Civil War II. Tyler Durden, do you do you see the tease for X-23 and X-Men Apocalypse end credits? Yes, I did. Hope she shows up. They should be a great new Wolverine for that universe. Harold, The Rock could play OMAC One Man Army. Nathan Banks, if Scarlet Spider does return to, do you see Kane, Ben, or even new character take up the mantle? It'd be kind of cool if a new character took it up. I would love to see Jessica Drew back from the Ultimate Universe. Oh, and uh, Tavia just mentioned Jessica Drew, actually. Timothy, oh, I finally binge-watched Supergirl, and it was really, really good. Overall, better than The Flash. Um, I kind of agree with that, too, actually. I think Supergirl had one of the strongest first seasons. Um, Omnitron, uh, oh, I hate Civil War II. The first death made literally no sense given the character in question's powers. Jay said no. I don't know what he's saying no to. Tavi asks, if I wrote Mayday, how would you do it? Because in my opinion, I have done Spider-Verse, but done more than its perspective of her point of view. I have ideas for Spire Girl, but I don't I don't want to give them away just in case. Oh, Jay said if Scarlet Spire comes back, it must be Ben Riley. Jay's been waiting for a while for Ben Riley to come back. Shante, are there any upcoming movies you want to avoid spoilers for? I'm hoping Suicide Squad and Doctor Strange. Yeah, all the superhero movies and like Star Wars and all that, I like to avoid spoilers for. Honestly, all movies I try to avoid spoilers for that I want to see. TV shows a little less than that. Um, I could have spoilers for the most part. Besides shows I really, really like. All right, let's keep coming with the questions. Tavia, do you, uh, Kat, do you think Marvel would stop doing pointless gimmicks? Um, I think those gimmicks are money makers for them. Odin's Temple says, no Scarlet Spider, blah. 
Oh no, I wouldn't mind seeing another Scarlet Spider. Depending how they do it. I know that clone story is coming up soon. Nathan, would you like to see a new character that is Barney Barden's bastard son become a third Hawkeye? I think they need to know what to do with Kate and Clint first. Because I feel like they've had a misdirection since um, Matt Fraction's good run on them. Tyler Jordan, what is the oldest comic you have in your collection? Um, pretty old, because I also have my dad's collection. He collected a lot of the older DC stuff. Omnitron, technically anything in a comic book is a gimmick. Superpowers in general were originally gimmicks before they became common. That is true, Omnitron. I knew what Tevye was saying. It was more of like a sale gimmick than for story's sake. Tyler Jordan, uh, so what happened to Kane at the end of Spyverse? I think he died, if I remember correctly. Shanti, Kat, have you had a chance to watch New Ultron? I was going to pass it up, but I gave it a chance pretty solid. Yeah, I've heard good stuff. I've never seen the original Ultra, uh, Voltron, so um, but I've heard really good stuff. Tavia, Kat, do you think clone conspiracy crap is going to be good? Um, I don't know. I don't know much about it. Nathan, would you like Kate Bishop is on the core Avengers title? If the core Avengers title is going to be good, um, of course. I want them to do more with Kate. I was, I was talking about this with Brant and Jay. Um, I would love to see Kate and Cassie be like a mentors on a Young Avengers team um, and have like Kamala, you know, Nova, um, Miles be like the, the people that are learning. I would really like to see kind of Young Avengers go back to its old roots. Tavia said that Kane died and came back to life. Yeah, Tyler Dern said he's alive. See, I don't even remember. Harold, will DC revisit the one shots in 2017 September event books, for example? Um, which one shots? Spanish um, Heart, um, what is your favorite rebirth, uh, rebirth book so far? Um, for me, it's Detective Comics. Omnitron um, on Hunt. Jay says, Kane was thought to be dead, was alive, and in the room with Great Web of lie, Life, but never seen, even though Web Warriors are all there. Yeah, I again, that's why I may have probably forgotten what happened to Kane. Uh, Omnitron, I want to see a new Punisher story arc, as in copycat Punisher with their own series. All right, all the other stuff has to do with Kane. Brandon, uh, what is a good run to pick up? Um, the original uh, for I'm um, sorry, what is a good run to pick up for Young Avengers? Um, the original run from um from Alan, I forget his last name. Um, the original Young Avengers run with Cassie and Kate and um Patriot and all them. That's definitely the best. There's two volumes of that. Um. Like Tavia said, pick up the original Young Avengers. I personally was not a fan of Gillens. I really recommend the that original Young Avengers, even for people that haven't read comics like ever. I think it's a really good gateway to superhero comics. Same like goes for the Runaways and and those type of comics, early runs of those. Um, really good to jump into. Even um, maybe Spider Girl. If you've never read Spider Man before, it actually um, picks up a lot of old Spider Man. Story, you know, story lines and also story style. Um, Shante, where is your favorite place to vacation and where would you want to travel in the future? I love Disney World. That's one of my favorite places. Where do I want to travel in the future? I really want to go to Australia one day um, in Japan. It's two places I really want to go to. Omnitron, anyone else think the Champions comic coming out looks really cool? I hope it is. Uh, it, it does look like as promised. Tyler Jordan, if Rick Remender comes back to Marvel or DC, what would you like him to write? I'm not a huge Remender fan, but I know he does well with Winter Soldier. For the people who like that character, I think it would be cool for him to return for that. Tyler Jordan, favorite Teen Titans run? 100% Jeff Johns. 
Uh, Jay says Alan Heimberg did the original Young Avengers 12 issue and a special. Yeah, those are issues you have to pick up. Tevia, if Tom DeFalco came back to Marvel, what would you like him to write? Of course I would like him to write uh, Spider-Girl. Tyler Durden, I always thought Brian Craston would be a good Commissioner Gordon in Justice League. He would. I am also excited for um, Simmons to do that character. Nathan, do you think Runaways will return in some fashion? I think if they ever do a TV show or movie, they will. Um, it's actually really a shame that they haven't because they have a lot of great diverse characters in, in that ser um, series also. And again, I would love to see those original diverse characters come back, um, like uh, Carolina. Um, I'm trying to think of other characters that were really diverse in there. I, I just thought it was a very diverse cast in general um, with really diverse personalities too. So that's what I'd like to see. Omnitron, Brian Cranston is Zordon in Power Rangers movies. I'm excited. I know, I know Jay in the comments is a little bit more skeptical about it, but I'm excited for the movie in general. I'll be seeing it hopefully like midnight premiere or 7 o'clock premiere now. Oh. Hold on. All right, let's see. Tyler, um, I tried to find Jeff John's Teen Titans book, but I think they're out of print. Um, I think the trades are still, definitely get the trade of it. Timothy, with Life Follow Like Daughter 3 out, what is the next for you? I haven't gotten issue 3 yet, so avoid spoilers if you can, folks. Um, issue 4 <laughs> definitely is next for me. We're trying to plan the Kickstarter for that for um, August, September. But uh, I definitely have other stories to tell, too, that... Hopefully we'll we'll pick off pick up off the ground, but uh, definitely focusing on just promoting like father like daughter, and the the more people that buy it, the more chance I get to write more stuff. Tyler Jordan, favorite Tim Burton movie? I don't really have one. I'm not a big Tim Burton fan. Uh, Tevia, Kat, any opinion on the whole Ben Ten reboot? Um, I I still don't know anything about this Ben Ten reboot thing, but I have gotten questions about that. I mean, Tron, my only complaint with the new Power Rangers movie is the helmets. I don't like them. Oh, I don't like their animals. Ashanti, do you have any pets? I have a rabbit that is a diva and loves to have her fur blow, blowing against the fan. I have a dog, um, which is actually, she's laying on her, her bed now. Um, she's cute. She's a bit of a diva also. Uh... Brandon, I need to catch up on Power Rangers comics. Yeah, they, they are pretty good. I like them. Especially the pink Power Ranger one. Tyler Jordan, have you ever seen SWAT? Um, I have not. I think I've heard of it. Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite Tim Burton film, Ashanti says. Uh, Tevia, Kat, any opinion like Father Like Daughter doing comicsology? Because I really want to buy the third issue soon. Um, we had the first issue on there. We've been accepted for the second and third. So we're just waiting on comicsology to tell us when that could uh when that's going to be posted but uh tevi if you really want to read issue three um i do recommend it getting printed on the facebook page so we get it quicker but yeah i you know i, I just don't know when it's going to be posted on comiXology like i said we have been accepted tyler jordan have you ever seen scooby-doo on zombie island um i don't know I, maybe a long time ago harold uh what's your thoughts on the upcoming I don't, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I can't. Zover with mask. Yeah, don't know what it is. Uh, Tevia, a cat. Do you think that DC Rebirth is destroying all new, all different Marvel's rehash crap? Uh, sales wise, Marvel did better than DC Rebirth. So, Omnitron, thoughts on Hanna Barbera line DC is doing? Like Flintstones, didn't really like anything else from the Hanna Barbera line, sadly. And it's cool that they're bringing that stuff back. I would like to see the Jetsons. I think, or yeah, I think Johnny Bravo was beginning Hanna Barbera, and then it might have moved somewhere else. But yeah, I liked. Um, I do like Flintstones. All right, keep coming with the question, guys. I have about a half an hour left for the Q and A. Thank you for joining me for this one. Hopefully, you liked it. That was a little bit earlier in uh, the month. Like I said, I know you guys wanted that.
All right. Let's see. Tevia, Kat, do you think DC Rebirth is doing what Marvel... Well, I kind of already mentioned... A, oh, about the quality versus quantity. I mean, I like that DC Rebirth is not giving us 20 books a week. Um, that's kind of hard that Marvel's been doing that on us in our pockets and making it 399 books. So I, I kind of wish they... But they can do it. You know, people are buying it. So what can you do? Shanti, what's the first comic book you ever read? Me, I read Teen Titans TV comic. Um, it was definitely a Spider-Man comic. was the first official. Well, the first official is an old su a Superman comic I used to read with my dad. But, like, one I read myself was probably Spider-Man. Timothy, how many dope shirts you got? You don't have to answer this one. I, I, don't, I don't know the number, but I'm glad you like them. Uh, Spanish, Heart. Um, are you excited about the Just League Action Anime show? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm saying with you, I'm cautiously optimistic. I know it'll be showing at San Diego during preview nights. I'm going to try getting a review up for that early review. Tyler Jordan, have you ever seen Dark City? I've never heard of it. Tavia, I'm happy that DC is doing something smart way over Marvel these days. All right. Keep coming with those questions. Definitely. Great questions so far, guys. <clears throat> Right. Tyler, uh, have you seen the trailer for a PS4 Spider-Man game? I have not, but I've heard of it. Uh, Nathan asks what I think about Riri being the new Iron Man. I talked a little bit about this before, um, so I will say if you want another full comment for that, wait for Frontline Live on on Tuesday for for me to repeat myself. But I guess I could repeat a little bit. Um, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to wait and see what the character is like in the, when her book comes out to see if the story's good and, and organic. Um, so here's the hope. Here's hoping that um, she's a really cool Iron Man. Davia, do you think Marvel Animation needs a major reboot? Um, I've answered this before. I think Marvel Animation is targeting the demographic they want. Uh, Shorel Normal, what was the best rebirth so far? I've, I answered that a little bit earlier, um, but I did say Detective Comics. Um, Harold, will DC revisit who Treasury Editions? Uh, I don't know anything about the Treasury Editions. Favorite Spider-Man cartoon, Tyler Durden. Um, probably the 90s one. Tevia, I want a Young Justice Season 3. A lot of us do. Tyler Durden, what do you think about the Silver Age of DC Comics? Um, it was fun. You know, it was kind of silly fun. I have a lot of Superman, Silver Age stuff. And Wonder Woman, and, and not a lot of Batman. Whenever is in my dad's collection, that's what I have. He didn't collect a lot of Marvel. More DC stuff. He has a lot of Flash. <clears throat> uh, Tevia, uh, Kat, do you think Detective Comics finally fixed Tim Drake's status as Robin? Yeah, I think they did. Shanti, what other actor you want to meet be in... Superhero films or TV series? Stephen Amell. I still haven't been able to meet him in person. We'd like to meet him. And Grant Gustin. Haven't been able to meet him either. It was great that I was able to meet Willow. I was very happy. And Katie Cassie. I got to interview her. That was cool. <clears throat> Omnitron has to run. Thank you, Omnitron, for uh, joining us. So like I said, guys, we'll have about another half an hour. Tevia, uh, Kat, do you think Mary Jane's being mistreated? Um, I don't know. It's a hard question. I don't know if she's being mistreated. At least she's being used. She had an interesting issue this week. I think in the past she's been mistreated, but now she's being treated a little bit better. Tyler, if Christopher Daniel Barnes ever comes back as Spider-Man, I'd love to hear him as Superior Spider-Man. Shante, Grant Gustin's adorable. I've never been him before, but that's what I think of him. I agree. He does seem adorable. 
Tyler Jern, what did you think about Spectacular Spider-Man? I, I enjoyed the series. I did. Harold, any annuals look good to you coming up? Uh, not really. I'm not a big fan of annuals, honest, honestly. They're just, just a lot of money. <laughs> Tyler Jordan, have you ever played the Ultimate Spider-Man video game? Um, I don't think I have. Tavia, if Josh, uh, Josh Keenan came back for Spider-Man in the Spider-Man anime movie, would you love to hear him again? Sure. Uh, uh, Brandon, have you read the Bruce Tim graphic novel? What are your thoughts? Um, the one that just, which Bruce Tim graphic novel? Let me know. And then I'll let you know my thoughts. All right, keep coming with questions, guys. All right. I guess I could give you some updates again coming up for the channel as um, <clears throat> we 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 that yeah, we wait for more questions. Uh, like I said, San Diego Comic Con's coming up. Excited for that. Um, reviews coming up. Uh, what else? Like Father, Like Daughter. Um, issue three is out. Definitely would love support for that book. Um, so that's pretty much it. I feel like I've said. All the updates actually earlier, so here you go. Frontline Live is um, is this Tuesday. Media Madness is on Thursday. Tyler Jordan, do you think DC will ever release a back cow comic? Maybe when they, I know they do their pet stuff sometimes. I could see it for that. I don't think they'll ever come up with an ongoing back cow comic. I would hope not. <laughs> Timothy, favorite, uh, favorite TV sitcoms? Um, currently, I like a lot of the ABC stuff. Um, I, I like Big Bang Theory. It's hard to go back because I do like a lot of sitcoms. Uh, I actually like the Mindy Project a lot. Um, yeah, those are, those are all so far. Sure, L, normal TV nerd. Are you a fan of anime? If so, what are you currently watching? I, I dabble. I used to not be, but in the last, like past two years, I definitely dabble. Um, right now, what am I watching? I, I'm not watching anything really currently, but like stuff that I'm like in the middle of is Tokyo ESP and k -On. I haven't watched it in a while, though. And I, I want to watch the, the Boy and the Beast movie um, by um, Hazada. Hazado? Hazada? Hazada. How's it up? Uh, Spanish Heart, the Paul Dini one. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think which one that is. Let me know. I don't think I read it. Uh, Tavia, Kat, do you think Red Hood and Outlaws need to go away? Um, I personally don't read the book, so it doesn't really affect me. Oh, Bren says the one about his personal life where it talks about being mugged. Um, I, I've never read that. Shanti, do you think if comic books did what all the fans wanted, would there be any comics in existence? I think it's hard to please everybody because everyone has different opinions, you know? Tyler Jordan, have you gotten the new Flash trade collection of Mark Millar and Grant Morrison? I have not. <laughs> Harold, Titans Go meets Pokemon. What would, would, would be a wonder? Timothy, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, best anime ever. Can't go wrong with that one. Crazy Comics, hey, comic, you know, how's it been going? Going well? Uh, Spanish Heart, how do you feel about new Preacher show? Do you think they've diverged from the source material? I've never read Preacher, and I don't watch the show, so don't have much of an opinion of that. Tevia, Kat, do you think Tim Drake is for... Oh, no, I, already, I already mentioned that. Um, I already answered that, Tevia. Uh, Tyler Jern, looking forward to Incredibles 2. It's about damn time. I agree. That's like one of the, the movies I'm most looking forward to, like, ever. Or, like, most anticipated movie. Incredibles is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. So, very excited. Harold, um, is Outcast worth watching? Um, I watched the first episode. It was okay. Um, I'm liking the comic more so far. Nathan, when Red and the Outlaws first came out, did you despise the fact that Roy was wearing a baseball cap? I didn't despise the facts, but I don't like it. And again, I didn't really read it, so it didn't really affect me. 
because I heard bad things. And I never just I never picked it up. I don't think I've read one issue of that series. Ashanti, in the future, would you be open to fans drawing a cover for your comic? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be open to that. Um, I would have to talk to Rashad. Maybe we'd do like a contest if enough people are willing for that. Maybe like a variant cover. I think that'd be really cool. Tyler Jordan, what crossover in any media would you like to see but you know will never happen? Huh. I don't know. I feel like crossovers are happening all the time now. Hmm. Jessica Jones and Supergirl. That'd be an interesting one. <laughs> Timothy, you can make the argument that The Incredibles is one of the best movies in the oh, 21st century. I can make that argument, totally. Tevia, Kat, is your comic like Father Like Daughter going to deal with time travel? Um, I did talk about this, and I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to spoil anything. Went back in time, and her father met his younger year. Met him in his younger years. Um, I'm just going to say it's a comic about dealing with comic book tropes. So you never know what's going to happen next. I'll say there's no time travel in the coming future, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, so keep coming with the questions, guys. Save my time. Got All right, here we go. Tyler Jordan, I love to see Young Justice and Batman Braid the Bull crossover. Spanish Heart, uh, best dick in Babs moment. Mine is Birds of Prey issue 8. Um, there's so many good moments from them. I don't know if I could just pick one. I would have to, like, do my research before I just picked one. So I, I, I love I love that couple. Spidey R Y Ry. Um if you could have the power of one hero from Marvel, one from DC, what would you pick? I don't know. Flying. I, overall I just always pick flying. Um Shante, have you watched the deep series on Netflix? I heard about it on Comic Frontline. It's pretty good. Um, actually, yeah, I'm watching it right now. Me and Jay are planning a media madness, um, for that this coming Thursday. So if you enjoy it, Shanti, hopefully you could check out our show for it. I'm in the middle of it. I think I'm on like episode like 12 or something like that. Tevia, Kat, do you think Marvel, um, unfortunately DC Comics always trying to one up each other? I'm sure, you know, every, you know, every, every company is in, in doing the same business or in competition with each other. That's how economy works. Uh, at least a capitalist economy. Crazy comics. Uh, Kat, you wanted me to let you know how my comics were going way back when. Well, I'm happy to say that I finished my first comic. Awesome, crazy comics. I'm really, really happy to hear that. Tevia, Kat, if you had the powers of a god like Darkseid or Superman, what would you do with them? Probably something lazy. I, I wouldn't want to take over the world or anything. Tyler Jordan, if Cartoon Network wanted to write a Ben 10 or Gwen Tennyson comic, which one would you like to write for? Gwen Tennyson, definitely. That's why I really liked Ben 10, was her character. Even though I like Kevin and, and Ben, too, but you could add Kevin and Ben in a, in a Gwen comic. Um, do you sometime in the far-off future wish to write outside of the comic book genre? Um, probably television or movies. I don't really see myself writing a novel, but... Comic. I, I love the visual medium. You never know. Shanti B. Crap, I gotta catch up on that show. I'm on episode two of the animation solid. Yeah, I, I have, I've been quickly binging it because of our show. Or else I probably would binge it a little slower. Tyler Jordan, have you checked out Child of Light or Mr. Robot? I have not heard of Child of Light, but Mr. Robot I've heard of and heard good things. I've not seen either, though. Harold Bean, Ben 10 needs to meet Dial H for Hero. Yes, I, it seems like everyone's talking about this Ben 10 reboot. I've, I have to look more into it. Timothy Joshua, top five Pixar movies and go. Oh, I don't know. Incredibles is definitely number one, like I said, but uh, it's hard. There's so many good ones. Toy Story 3, um, Toy Story 1, Finding Nemo, Inside Out I really liked. Incredibles is number one, 100%.
I don't know. I know Cars is not on the list, so <laughs> uh, I'm the only um, two uh, Pixar movies I haven't seen are Wally and the Good Dinosaur. Wally, I really have to see. Good Dinosaur, I just have the Blu-ray of, and hopefully one day I'll see. Tevia, Cat, do you think the Flash season three is going to affect Arrow season five? I don't know. Tevia, I know your opinion about Arrow. Harold, Dexter's Lab meets Flash Crew would make for an interesting crossover. Patrick Griffin, do you think do you watch Steven Universe? A lot of people ask me that. Uh, sadly, I don't, but I've heard good stuff. Yeah, everyone's talking about the Ben 10 thing, too. Spanish Heart, um, are you excited about the upcoming Death Note live-action movie for Netflix? I'll definitely watch it. Um, Brandon, I think Danny Phantom deserves a reboot. Um, me too, or a continuation. I love Danny Phantom. Nathan, uh, what TV shows are looking forward to besides CW DC, show, DC shows in the fall? Uh, Quantico, um, watching Pretty Little Liars, Team Wolf, um, shows coming out. Uh, there's a couple of them from like new fall lineup. I'm looking forward to like Riverdale, Frequency. I'm really looking forward to. Um, that's just a name a few. Tyler Jordan, I wish Greg Wiseman could make an X-Men cartoon. I agree. That'd be awesome. Like X-Men Evolution Part 2. <laughs> Ashanti, uh, do you think they should make several movie sets in Universe of the Incredibles? What specifically do you like about the Incredibles? I mean, I like the, you know, just having the one family. But, I mean, I think they could definitely do other stuff with the other heroes. Uh, and what I like about Incredibles is definitely the family dynamic aspect of it. And, like, it's gr a grounded movie about superheroes and definitely more character-driven than anything. So, and the animation's great. Crazy Comics. Oh, two crossover crossovers I would love would be Incredibles and Big Hero 6, as well as the original Teen Titans and Old Just League. Both would be awesome crossovers. Tevi, I'm so happy that Wally West is back. Timothy, didn't Pretty Little Liars end? I don't care, but that's what my girlfriend told me. Nope, it's still going on. It's almost over, I think. I think they have one or two more seasons left. Um, it's good. I, it, it has its ups and downs, but I, I like it. Um, Tyler Jordan, Samurai Jack is coming back, and it's going to be epic. I think you should give it a try. I'm not a big Samurai Jack fan, but maybe I'll give the first issue a try. Tevia, the Tevia says Samurai Jack is... Coming up real soon. Yes, it is. Shante says, Samurai Jack brings back memory. So good. Really long series, though. Tyler Jordan, favorite Martin Scorsese, uh, Scorsese or Spike Lee film? I think Spike Lee did her. I like Spike Lee's her. I don't know if I could pick a favorite Martin Scorsese film. I would have to look at his whole list. I think for both of them, I would have to look at the whole list and say, yeah, that's my favorite. I don't know their films from, from heart. <laughs> All right, let's, um, I'll talk for like a minute and uh, let's get your last minute questions here and uh, then we'll start ending the show. Um, yeah, guys, keep going with those last-minute questions. Uh, and as always, like I said, go follow me on Twitter, at Comic Uno, Facebook. Uh, check out my comic, like Follow Like Daughter. The only way to get more issues is to support the book, so hopefully you guys can. Um, yeah, so it's kind of all the updates, so I don't really have anything else as of right now. But yeah, keep coming with the questions. Uh, like I said, this will be the last round, and then once I see a lull, I'll stop. I'll stop the show. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of an early Q and A. Like I said, I did it earlier in the month. Um, let me know if you like it earlier in the month. I kind of just do it when I have the time, because um, I, as I always say, I like doing the monthly Q and As. I think they're a lot of fun to do. Uh, I really enjoy them, connecting to you guys, and yeah, it's just it's a fun fun show that I'm glad I came up for the idea for. So I'm going to look forward to to use the Google Hangouts. So I do all the other live shows everywhere else. All right, I'm going to 
do our last blast of questions here. Let me see. Tevia, Kat, do you think Marvel's all new, all different has been a failure? Um, like I said, sales are doing well. Shante, what director would you like to pick for a Batgirl film? I don't know. Um, oh, Spike Jones did her. Never mind. Spike Lee made Malcolm X do the right thing. I've, I haven't seen um, that, um, that movie. Timothy, yo, Brad Bird's a genius. He breaks down the family relations so well in that movie. It's hard to type out how good that movie is. No, I agree. That movie is just so good. I love it so much. I could watch it over and over again. Crazy Comics, given the fact that Cartoon Network, uh, Cartoon Network hasn't had a good track record with the reboots, I'm not sure how well Samurai Jack and Ben 10 are going to be. Yeah, I agree with that. Steven, do you think the Arrow Season 5 will be good? I hope so. Crazy Comics, Legend of Tomorrow Season 2 thoughts. Um, excited for the JSA. Tyler Jordan, have you checked out Cowboy Bebop? Heard great things about it, so I haven't checked it out myself, though. Uh, Tevia, Cat, do you think Spider-Man, the real clone saga, should be canon? Uh, honestly, I don't even remember that much of it, so I can't tell you. I mean, I read it when it came out, but I don't really remember too much of it. Tavia, um, oh, because how good it was. Um, Spanish, uh, Heart, will we see Booster Gold or Blue Beetle in DC TV Universe? Maybe one day. Depends what's going on with those movies, I think. Harold Bean, Commander, Ste uh, Commander Steel, Vixen, and Cyclone, Except for Legends Tomorrow. Yes, they are. Tyler Durden, Young Justice gets renewed, but you have to play Superman 64 for three hours. Would, would it be worth it? Hell yeah, play that for three hours. Tevia says Samurai Jack is a sequel. All right, guys. Well, it looks like uh, questions are done. Oh, we got one more. Shanti, do you think Kevin Conroy should be a live action film or old man? That man. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if he played, like, Thomas Wayne in, in something. I'd like that. All right, well, it looks like those are all the questions, so I'm going to end the show. Thank you guys for joining me for my July Q&A. Um, again, you can ask me questions even after the show, and I'll answer them. Let me know what you think of the show, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next month for an, another Q&A in August. Hopefully you enjoy. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys later. This was Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. All the description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.